Hi, I'm Jonathan, a tour guide for RVA on Wheels in the historic neighborhood of Jackson Ward in Richmond, Virginia. Here at the intersection of Broad and Adams Streets, you can find two incredible leaders memorialized in public art. Maggie Lena Walker, sculpted by artist Toby Mendez and installed here in 2017, and John Mitchell Jr., painted by artist Visibly Hidden in 2018. Born a year apart in the midst of the Civil War, contemporaries Mitchell and Walker grew up in post-war Richmond, both eventually becoming teachers, newspaper publishers, and bank presidents. In 1903, Maggie Walker was the first black woman to establish and become president of a bank in the United States. Both were instrumental in an early civil rights protest here in Richmond. In 1904, Virginia General Assembly permitted the state's electric streetcar operators to establish policies which segregated cars by race. In Richmond, the Virginia Passenger and Power Company made its conductors special policemen, authorized to carry firearms and force black passengers to the back of trolleys or off the cars altogether if they refused to comply. John Mitchell Jr.'s newspaper, The Richmond Planet, called for a boycott of Richmond's newly segregated streetcars. Mitchell aimed to impact what he called the nerve center of the streetcar company, their finances. Stay off the streetcars, he wrote. Walking is good now. Let us walk. Maggie Walker echoed the call with her newspaper, The St. Luke Herald, writing, Our self-respect demands that we walk. The boycott began in April 1904, and thousands rallied in the city to protest the Jim Crow cars. In the first few months, the Richmond Planet reported as many as 90% of black Richmonders participating in the protest. By July 1904, the Virginia Passenger and Power Company was out of business. The streetcar company here busted, declared the Planet's front page. The company was sold at auction and taken over by new management, which continued the policies of segregation. In 1906, streetcar segregation became required by state law as Jim Crow became even more entrenched in Virginia, and the boycott mostly dwindled. But some, like John Mitchell Jr., never ceased their protests. In 1913, he wrote, I make it a practice not to ride on the streetcars in Richmond. Half a century before the Montgomery bus boycotts and the wider civil rights movement, Segregated streetcar boycotts like the one in Richmond took place in 25 cities across the U.S. These movements are representative of a persistent resistance against racial oppression led by determined leaders like Maggie Lena Walker and John Mitchell Jr. For more Richmond history, check out the sources and links below and come take a tour with RVA on Wheels.